Welcome back to Dubsy Bricks and another episode of Building Gotham City and Lego. So after a couple of weeks of working on Ace Chemicals, we've now decided to turn our attention back to the fire station. We have had a massive order come in from lego.com which we've still yet to sort. We did have a second package come in which we have sorted which is in the, our container just the side of me here. So I just need to go through, see exactly what we've got here and then we can make a start on the building. So let's get sorting and then let's get building. And the modified bricks are in, so that's the runners for the garage door, so all four of those are in place now. And one thing we can concentrate on doing now is also swapping these bricks over here that are dark bluish grey, and put the dark, the sand blue ones in because they've arrived. And also on the pick brick wall we recently got some of the dark tan 2x2 two two tiles, so we can again get all of those put on there. So let's do those little jobs next, and then we'll carry on building this up. And this is what it looks like with the tiles on. So we've left these free here. So we're going to put some jumper plates on and have some lights hanging from there. We are going to have to change these tiles out at the bottom here, the light bluish grey ones. And so it's just one tile deep as we want to put some yellow uh, bollards um, up on the floor there. And obviously they won't be able to sit on that. But what we're going to do now is concentrate on doing the top section of the, the building here. So let's carry on building. And once we make a little bit more progress, we'll check back in and show you what it looks like. And we've made a start on putting the windows in and the next level up on the fire station. We put the fireman's pole in the middle and I think that's roughly where we're going to have it. On the modular set it was over this side, however I thought with this one and it'd be better to have it so that any farm come from down below would have access to both the fire engines that are going to be in here. So yeah, I'm really pleased how this is looking and coming on so far, so we just need to carry on building this all up. And we've carried on building up here, so we've got the arches around the front windows there. We have got a couple of pieces which are the wrong colour, and we need to order some more in and get that all sorted out. And the same here, there should be a Technic brick in here, so I can attach some finer details to it. Um, but yeah, really pleased with how this is coming along. We put this pillar in the centre of the fire station, which we've attached the fireman's pole to. And what I'm considering doing is attaching the pillar to the back wall there, just to give it that little bit more strength. But anyway, let's carry on building. And we've got the flight of stairs in on the side there. So all we're gonna do now is put a couple of bricks up on each bit here. And I'm gonna run a beam all the way across and then we'll tile off the entire section ready for the next floor. And the reason I wanna put the beam across there is I feel this is quite a large area and not to have any support. And I'll soon give that a little bit extra strength, especially as we've got a hole that we're gonna be putting in the middle of the floor there for where the fireman pole comes up. So let's get those alterations made and we'll check back in once we made a little bit more progress. And as you can see, we've put the support beam all the way across. So we've used a couple of the large arches and some inverted slopes with a brick going across the top of it. And we've tiled, as you can see, the entire top area of the fire headquarters. Now what we need to do is build the platform out now, or the plate, for the next floor up. And obviously we need to leave a couple of holes, one for the top of the stairs, one for the fireman pole, and then start working on the walls on there. So let's get the plates out and work out how we're going to go about it. And here we have the floor all done. So it's... Um, very flimsy so we've just got some four by sixes on each of the corners to join it all together but i am going to have to find a way of strengthening this up because it's just way too flimsy and i know obviously once i put the bricks around the edge that's going to help strengthen it up but again in the center here it's nowhere near good enough i didn't ideally want to put two lots of or two levels of plate covering the whole area um however i'm thinking it is possibly going to be required in order to do so if I was tiling the floor, then that might solve the problem. But again, I don't know if that's something I want to do on here. But we'll have a think about it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And we've completely plated off the next floor now, as you can see. And where there are gaps here and here, that's to cover sort of like where there's the tiles there so it goes over that nice and smoothly but yeah really pleased with the the strength of it i know that's just one part there but once we start putting some more details on here 
like the walls going across if we do decide to tile the floor which is a very good chance we may do that um, then that's obviously going to add to all the integrity we do need to put a one by plate along here so what i'm considering doing is putting a second row of one by plates the whole way around the edge here to help keep that one in place and then build the walls up on top of that so let's get to that bit next and once we've uh, put a little bit on there we'll show you how it's looking and we made a start on the floor here so as you can see we put the first row of bricks around the edge put the snot bricks in so they will be ready to be tiled we're probably going to go about eight eight bricks in height here we've got a good selection of the dark red bricks so hopefully that's going to be enough to do around the edges and we'll go from there still work out what we're going to do on the inside here on the floor so i'm just going to build the walls up a little bit only go as high as the four bricks i think and then once we've done that we'll start considering the plans for the inside on this wall here i'm not planning on having any windows if i do it'll just be one or two whereas on the back there as you can see there's one two three or five windows that will be going in there but anyway let's get back to building and here we are with a little bit more progress made so we've started putting on these plates on the ends of each corner and what we're going to do we're going to put gray light bluish gray tiles over the top of those then every other stud that you can see on snot brick will be in the red and it will alternate so it'll be like a two and a two and then there'll be a two there and then two ones either side so it looks like a brick effect on there i don't think i've got enough of the tiles but we'll get as much done as we possibly can with what we have got put the gray tiles over the top of that as well stick the windows in and then we'll start working out what we're going to do in this massive section at the front here i could put a couple more windows however it would be nice to have some something that's a little bit more prominent on there and i do want to try and keep everything as uniformed as possible within this building so well i didn't calculate that very well i'm 102 tiles short so yeah i need another 51 of the uh one studs one by ones and 51 of the one by two i think it works out at the front side we have managed to get done so that's all good um and what i can do now is i can put the gray tiles on there so once i've done that on the back here i swing around do the front and then i'll show you what the front looks like and it's all changed at the front of the fire station so we've added in an extra window on each side of the center bit here narrowed this and what we're going to do now we're going to put the windows in do some fancy design over the top and then work out where we're going from there on the pillar here we have gone for two single tiles and a double two singles and double all the way up on there and that's purely to keep in so it's the same sort of like detail as down here there are joins on these tiles and you're not going to notice it from a distance, but it's just one of those little attention to details I wanted to put into the mock and the city. So when people are looking at it close up, they they won't sort of like think that it looks wrong. So I know it's probably silly doing so, but uh, yeah, just want to put that little detail on there. Anyway, we need to order in a load more tiles because we, we are too short just on this side here, let alone over the back there. So we've got to order those hundred odd tiles in so we can get that finished. And we've opted to change the design of the rear of the fire station. And we've done it the same style as what was on the modular building, where it's just brickwork as opposed to using the snot bricks and tiles on top of it. So really pleased with how that's come out. Um, it also means we can get that part finished without having to wait for the parts to come in. If further down the line we look at anything, actually, no, it would have been better having that technique. It's so easy to change it over. But personally, liking how it's looking. Anyway, what we need to do now is carry on working around on this side here, build above the windows on there, and then carry on on the front side of it. And just while I'd show you how this is coming on. So thankfully we have the jazz club that we parted out and we raided a lot of the bread, well pretty much every red brick that was in there, and uh, very happy of how this is coming on. It's not clipping together properly at the moment, and I don't know if this floor is a little bit twisted, where it's not quite sturdy enough yet where you need to put some more structure in this is the back side of the mock and again as you can see it's just popping up and it's just refusing to to behave but uh, we'll get there eventually so we need to work out a design for the doors that are going to go on the back of the fire station here looks wise it's nothing spectacular on the back here but i didn't really want to draw too much attention to the fire center fire brigade from the back here so still need to work out exactly how we're going to be doing the inside on here we are going to need to put another pillar up on here to continue the fireman's pole along there and obviously need to put some barriers around the stairs and work out where we're going to put like the fire chief's office 
and a couple of other supporting walls just to help support the roof on here but really pleased with how it's coming on as it's, as I mentioned before a lot of this is designed around the modular set they bought out all those years ago so you've taken a lot of building techniques from there and sort of like put my own spin on it i.e having two garages um, a couple of details up here are different as well but for the majority of it it is very much in the style of that original set but anyway let's get working on that roof section and we've made a start on the roof and we're having problems galore and I can't work out where I'm going wrong. As you can see here, we're nice and flush on here. There's a modified plate going this way, attaching it by two studs. And when we come along this wall here, get to the end and it's overhanging. And it's overhanging by probably, it's over a quarter of a stud. So it's, it's not a small gap and I can't work out what is causing this problem and again if I could, if I rotate the building around this way again it's nice and flush here we go all the way to the end and again if it'll focus it's overhanging it just and it won't clip down and I can't work out what the problem is with there now I do remember several weeks ago seeing a video on Bevan's Bricks and it's well worth watching the video and he was on about the two by bricks so if you were using like two by ones like we've got down here and he was saying that if you were putting if you were to put a row of them down and then put say some 16 by one bricks down in front of them the two by ones eventually would work out longer than the 16 by ones purely because of the little gaps that you get between the bricks so if for example you went 48 studs and used 24 of these you're going to have all of those gaps in between of them and you're only going to have two gaps between the um the, the three 16 long bricks and it will add up to a sort of like half a stud or a quarter of a stud or something like that and i think that was a problem i had when i was trying to fit the road on my way manor because i was using all three by one bricks and i couldn't get that to line up and i thought originally that the roof was sagging which i was resting the road on and that was what was causing the problem but it turns out that it was probably this uh brick problems of the gaps which i didn't realize about but i can't understand why i'm having the problem on this roof these plates are all eight long and the tiles underneath here are very similar in size so it's not like i've gained anything and also it's the roof's overhanging if it was short i could sort of i would sort of say oh it's because i've used too many smaller bricks under here but it's it's not it's the opposite way around so really confused by it so this this week what i'm going to have to do now is have a good look at this floor and try and work out where the issue is and also again check the inside of here it's definitely the right amount of studs wide there's no no doubt about that whatsoever i haven't used any half bricks every brick on here is genuine lego there's no um fake lego or anything like that so it's nothing like that it's just totally baffling if anybody out there has come across a similar problem please pop in the comments below um wh how you solve the problem because i'll be intrigued as to know what the issue was there but what i'm going to do i'm going to take this floor off this week and i'm going to start putting some walls inside it and see if that sort of like helps with it at all i can't see how it is but we we just have to have a play I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it eventually. If worse comes to the worse, it will no longer be modular. I will just attach this roof. I will build straight onto the, the floor. So I won't have the tiles. We'll put the plates on there. I know they're all clipped together. We'll then build it all the way up, which would be a shame because it's nice to if to be able to show people inside the buildings, especially like the fire brigade. I mean, you can see inside to a degree, but I think it'd be much nicer to be able to look in from above as you saw earlier on when we were making the video. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the update. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. We did actually get a thousand subscribers this week. So thank you very much, everybody that's subscribed to the channel. It means the world. And uh, yeah, share it with your family and friends. Anyway, thanks for popping on by. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.